The Honourable Member for Elgin Middlesex, London. Global News is reporting that a refugee judge told a woman that her choice to keep a baby meant that she was never raped. The judge asked the victim during her interview, if you're raped, why would you keep a child of rape? The line of questioning taken by the government official is appalling and further traumatizes the victim. Can the Liberals confirm if this individual is still employed as a refugee judge? Thank you. Thank you. Minister of Immigration. Mr. Speaker, and I want to be absolutely clear, the comments as reported are completely unacceptable. The IRB has provided my offices with assurances that they are overhauling their complaints review process and they are making sure that sensitivity training is mandatory for all of its members. These are two critical steps which will ensure that everyone gets a fair hearing that is absolutely free from all forms of discrimination, including gender bias. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Elgin, Middlesex, London. Well, to be honest, I really hope that judge was fired, but carrying on, the Liberals must take immediate steps to stop IRB adjudicating from re-victimizing vulnerable claimants. They have seen several re reports of mishandling of sexual and gender-based cases, including the demand for nude photos of a sex trafficking victim, another victim who was asked, why didn't he just kill her? This pattern of sexist remarks suggests IRB judges have no understanding of assault whatsoever. What is this government going to do to ensure the victims of sexual abuse and exploitation, and when are you going to do this? I just want to remind the honourable members when they place a question to place it through the minister, not to the minister, or sorry, through the speaker, not to the speaker. The honourable, the honourable minister of immigration. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I understood the intent of my honourable colleague's question. As I said, these comments are completely unacceptable. The IRB has provided assurances to my office that they are overhauling the complaints process, that they are ensuring that mandatory training is being provided to all members so that we maintain the highest professional standards and that every person that appears before the IRB gets a fair hearing that is free from all forms of bias, including gender discrimination. Thank you very much.